No, I need a drink. My throat's killing me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'll warn them. Take this. I found some blow juice while I was looking for my squad. But they're on the men. You'll get used to the taste. You'll be along shortly. Watch yourself. Oh, I will. So, which way? I guess this is the way. This is the way. There's something going on with the friggin' sound, too, because, like, I'll be running and it sounds like someone's running right behind me. Sometimes. Not all the time. Who are you? No. Just uh, another player, huh? Revelations await. Another book. Journal of Bar Bravam Lithendos Lithendos Twelfth First Seed The experiments continue to progress. I have imposed several persistent illusions on the subject's mind, though he must still wear the amulet. I was simple it was simple to convince him that his soul was tied to it and that it its removal would mean immediate death. I do not have complete control of the illusions yet. When I tried to convince him the shed was made of stone instead of wood, he saw it and made a s it's made of sweet meats, and I had to prevent him from attempting to eat it. The individual's own pre predispositions still have some undesired influences. 17th Second Seed. Finally, I solved two problems that have been stalling my work with one elegant solution. With the exact combination of domin domination spells I have created, I now have total control over the hallucinations along with persistence without the need to for costly enchantments. This is a timely find. As the subject recently indicated that removal of the amulet might be preferable to the current stages of the experiment, I can now begin looking for additional subjects. Fifth mid-year. The three that inhabit my basement are convinced that they live in a palace. They have begun to take on the aspect of nobles, which is their own conceit. I have not attempted to alter their perceptions of themselves. The shared illusions uh, has held for two weeks and shows no signs of breaking down under prolonged scrutiny as the others ha had. I remain hesitant to subject myself to, to these illusions yet, though I am fairly confident I'd be able to extract myself. Testing has not revealed any of the distortions I'd hope to observe in the nature of local reality. Perhaps more subjects are needed. Tenth Sun's Height. Some really weird days. <laughs> uh, another interesting development occurred today. I introduced the notion that a werewolf... Oh. ...would rampage through the palace to just one of the subjects out of the range of the others. When I returned him and he awoke, it was not he who first spotted the werewolf at all, but another subject. He seemed to perceive the beast. I shall have to test this further and the illusions become its own reality, 
or have I accidentally connected them in some way? Holy crap. This is long, man. Not long, but still. Could the false world bleed through? How exciting. 23rd, sun's height. I'm losing control. It's almost as if some outside force is interfering. I can feel a strange undercurrent in the spells I have woven. Resistance in the minds of the subjects. They are becoming unintelligible. What? And difficult to work with. One sits in the corner, rocking back and forth, and muttering prayers to Debella. Of all things, another has injured herself horribly and will need to be removed this far. I had not been concerned for the soundness of their minds. What could be causing this? Second last seed. To my great surprise, everything in the basement has was gone this morning. The simple furnishings, supplies, and most unsettling the subjects. The basement walls, ceiling, and floor are now completely covered with a mural depicting the grand chamber of a palace. The subjects are nowhere to be seen, and strangest of all are the set of paints and single brush found lying in the corner. Some trickery and tampering has clearly taken place. I shall have to investigate further. Yeah, um, you're a loon, buddy. <coughs> huh. Excuse me. Finally, Bezajo will find this fabled brush. Whoa. What? What is this? Please, no. Bezajo, stop looking. A butterfly. Sure, why not? I'll take insect parts. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell would they be used for? Crap. Wormwood. Yeah, I'll collect some. Never can have enough wormwood. A young Khajiit wandered into the camp last night and said, Whoa. Excuse me. What the? Don't fucking kill me, you bitch. Oh, get out of here. What? What the fuck was that? Ah, oh, man, 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 man. <laughs> fuck you, you bitch. Fuck off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thanks for uh, trying to kill me over nothing, you friggin' dirty bitch. I'm not even gonna fucking examine that now. Yeah, no thanks. You're going to the wrong fucking camp at the wrong time. Don't track me down. Don't kill me, please. I know I killed your bitch, but still. The fuck out of here. Yeah, he's tracking me down. Leave me alone. I didn't do nothing to you. I just killed your woman. It's not my fault. She attacked me first. <clears throat> I 
Okay, I guess I'll go up here and see what the hell this eye is for. Whoa! Oh, they got him. Good job. Oh, yeah. Tale of Two Moons. As the sky falls white on Ellesmere, when the frost forms on the lake, when the fires blaze in brightness, when old bones begin to ache, then cats cast off their buttocks, and fur keeps out the cold, and small moon chases big moon, and tells him secrets old, but then blue skies or elsewhere when rivers stream with light from fires die when fires die in ashes your young again takes flight then cats rewrap their bodice and comb out re rich thick manes and big moon chases small moon and frees her from her chains That's a pretty cool poem. Oh, that's someone else. Oh shit, I don't want to do that. But that was someone else. Something else, not someone. Whoa, don't die. Holy shit, that was a big drop. You want to slick our sea viper or a cabbage mouth castaway? State your business with the crew of the Prowler. A Dominion Marine was killed in a nearby cave. The hurricane killed hundreds of Marines. Why does it matter if one of them died? He was murdered in some kind of ritual. His squad needs reinforcements. Oh. Well, the Prowler is like a hen in a wolf den until she's seaworthy again. Maybe your Marines can prove they're more than two-legged cargo and shiny armor. If they pitch in, I'm sure they can help where they can. I'm sure they'll be as useful as they were in the hurricane. Should they care to prove otherwise, they're welcome to do actual work patching leaks in the Prowler's hold. Maybe they can locate the replacement helmsman's wheel in all this wreckage. Oh, and our sun sighter. He must have fallen overboard when we beached. Our lookout saw those skink fink sure. Talking's easy. Whatever. Holy. Captain Jim and Joe and Joe. Whatever. I got it. Privateers, just our luck. We'll share that old sea cap. What Dominion Marines can do. Um, but I'm supposed to find some stuff. Is it up here? I don't think so. Well, I'm going to end the video here, guys, because I don't know how far I need to go. But uh, other than that, I hope you guys liked it. This is an awesome, awesome online game. So I am truly thinking about getting a, mem like a monthly thing going. So that monkey dude was kind of creepy <laughs> but anyways remember to like favor and subscribe and uh you guys have an awesome day later on later bye